Take us to the establishment of Delata because uh, this has been an extraordinary story that you went in around the time of the financial crash. Just take us through what you did. So in 2007, um, I was approached by two gentlemen, uh, Rory Quirk and Gavin Burke from TVC Holdings PLC. And, and they had this idea of funding a hotel company. And of course, I had this idea on the other side of starting a hotel company. So the combination of us, I remember a beautiful, sunny February day in the Radisson out in Stilorgan, and I was sitting waiting for them on the steps in the sunshine. And it, it, for some reason, my memory is it was the most beautiful day ever because I was going to get back into doing something that I really wanted to do. Uh, and that's, that's, uh, that was the start of it. And to be fair to those two guys, they backed me to the hilt. And we raised 45 odd million. But again, cleverly enough, we, we kept a good conservative balance sheet because 30 odd million of that was equity and 15 million was debt. So relatively low gearing for a business like that. So it meant then that when the crash came, uh, we were in a good position to weather the storm. And actually, because I had set it up quasi-PLC, because that's all I knew, quite frankly, in terms of corporate governance and all of the good things that you need to do, it meant that as, as, as opportunities started to arise, particularly around management contracts, we ticked all the boxes for the banks and the receivers because we had this good quality governance and they could trust what we were doing. And we then between 2009 and 2011, we took almost 40 hotels under management for banks and receivers. So we took full opportunity of the way we had structured the business. And it made us the largest operator in the country.